All right, you know, Wednesday practice in the books. Um, really, really pleased with the way the kids practiced the last two days, especially today. I mean, we had a great Tuesday practice. Obviously, we had some adversity today with some of the uh, weather coming in here, so we had you know switch schedules up and you know didn't uh, things were a lot out of order. But I thought the kids handled it with great maturity um, and really had a very energetic practice. Uh, it, you know, really, I, f I feel like we've got two solid days in. Uh, you know, which game week you, know, you want to be trending in the right direction. So you know, really pleased with the last two days. Um, you know, as we head into Thursday. Not a lot of tape on. Uh either of your quarterback uh, uh, on your quarterbacks coach is that a, an advantage do you have kind of the element of surprise maybe against Michigan I don't know we'll find out Saturday when, it, when are you guys leaving Friday and what's kind of the set schedule for the weekend um, so we'll walk through here Friday morning head to the airport and leave just after lunch uh, get up to Ann Arbor uh, head over to the stadium as soon as we get off the plane, and so uh, still get to the hotel about five o'clock. So we'll have our normal Friday night, and then you know, 12 o'clock kickoff, you know, it's gonna be a fast Saturday morning. So, uh, you know, we'll be back in Greenville, you know, for a you know, late dinner. So, uh, it's gonna be a quick weekend. Who are the, the leaders you're counting on week one? Who are some of the guys that are gonna rally the team in the locker room for you? Well, I think you know, the experienced guys that we do have that uh, you know, have been you know players on the field the last couple of years will be the guys that will be, you know, the most comfortable going into Saturday. You know, they're, they're not going to be phased by, you know, anything because they played a lot of big ball games. So, you know, Jeremy Lewis, uh, Rajay Harris, um, you know, Josiah Hatfield, uh, Elijah Morris, you know, Tay, Tay Johnson, um, you know, a lot of those guys, Jack Powers, you know, Julius Wood, you know, all, the, all those guys that everybody knows their name, they're going to be, they're going to be the guys that, you uh, you know, be you know very vocal pre-game and very vocal on the field Saturday. We talk about some of those leaders. We talked to a few of them yesterday. Some of your uh, defensive players, they seem pretty excited about getting ready to hit somebody. How have they been this week? Well, they're tired of hitting each other. That's the biggest thing. So, uh, no, they're they're excited about the matchup. They've worked very hard, uh, and uh, you know I think we've got a good group coming back on that side of the ball, and I think they're eager to go out there. You know, they they know what they're facing. They know that they're facing what everybody calls you know. Uh, you know, the most talented team in the country and obviously a very explosive offense and the NFL quarterback. Uh, and so, you know, anytime you're in that situation, you know, you want to go out there and kind of, you know, see what you made out of. So they're, they're excited for the, uh, for the challenge. Coach, does that go to, to, the, to the two guys' defensive line? I mean, a lot of talk about their offensive line. Are they looking forward to kind of, you know, seeing that firsthand, proving how, how good they can be too? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's an experienced veteran bunch up front. Uh, and they're facing a, a very good bunch up front on the other side of the ball. So, uh, you know, it's I'm glad we got the numbers we have because we're going to need it. Um, but it'll be a it'll be a great challenge and a great opportunity for them to evaluate themselves. Uh, you may have been asked this for you, but just as far as practice tomorrow and the weather, how much of a concern is that? Um, you know, with obviously no ability to practice indoor really. Right, it, it's a concern. Uh, I'm glad we got today, and you know we switched the schedule up and practiced uh, immediately today. And uh, you know I thought the kids handled it very, very well. Um, you know we're, we're getting ready to go in for meetings right now, and you know hopefully we might have, we have some ability to get a practice in tomorrow. Uh, but obviously a Thursday practice is very important from a special teams, uh, late game situations, sharpening up your game plan. I mean Thursday is kind of the put it all together practice, so you know we need to get it in somehow. I know you'll kick it off whenever, but for an opener, and you've been so excited about it all off season, is it good to go ahead and get going at noon rather than having to wait until yeah. eight o'clock? Yeah, I mean it's you know the eight o'clock kickoffs or the seven o'clock kickoffs; those are those are challenging on you mentally because you sit around all day waiting for waiting for it to get there. So you know I do like some of the thing about you know get up and, and go play. Uh, now the thing we, we talked about it uh, on Tuesday. You know, the thing you got to do though is you got to speed up your process as far as getting yourself mentally ready to play. You know, they really and, that, and that'll be my big focus after practice tomorrow and Friday morning is you know them getting mentally prepared for the game. Uh, they they have spent a lot of time. I mean, I mean they're in the building a lot watching film, so they know Michigan pretty well. So it's not like they got to do. You know, as soon as you flip the page to the opponent next week, you're going to be in a race to get prepared. But they've seen plenty of tape of Michigan, so they should be pretty ready. 
you know, as far as knowing their opponent wise, uh, to start really focusing on what they've got to do as far as a mental prep deal. So, uh, yeah, get up and go play on Saturday. Coach, uh, Jeremy Lewis has been a guy with the program for quite a while. I don't know if you've already spoke on him today, but just uh, can you just elaborate a little bit on how he's kind of become a leader for the defense and how you see him fitting in this year? Well, you know, really proud of him. Uh, he's grown tremendously as a player and grown tremendously as a person since, uh, you know, since he arrived on campus. Uh, and he's certainly a, he's a positive role model uh, off the field. Uh, you know, does a great job in the classroom, does a great job in the community. Uh, but he's a, he's a real, you know, emotional leader on the field. And, uh, you know, I, I said it earlier in the preseason, I was a little worried, you know, coming off the surgery and offseason, missing the spring. But I think he's playing, you know, his best ball right now. And so obviously he's a big part of us defensively. Thanks, Coach. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Good luck.